Based on the words and phrases in the text, how would you describe the king in Rumpelstiltskin? In this lesson, you will learn how to describe a character by visualizing as you read and finding words and phrases in the text that help you understand the character. We've been reading the fairy tale Rumpelstiltskin. This story is from a group of fairy tales collected by two brothers, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, around the year 1820. Rumpelstiltskin tells the story of a miller's daughter who is given the impossible task of spinning a pile of straw into gold. A little man comes along to help her with the task. You've learned that authors include words and stories that describe characters. These may include words like shy, tough, rude, sweet, adventurous, stingy, kind, or pleasant. These words help readers to visualize the characters and to understand them. You've also learned that good readers visualize what they read. Visualizing is picturing the story in your head as you read it. For example, if the story says, Molly and Dee Dee made up after their argument and walked home hand in hand, you might picture this. When we visualize as we read, we can understand and remember the story better. Today, we are going to explore the character of the king in Rumpelstiltskin by following three steps. First, we reread the story, picturing what the character might be like. Second, we highlight words and phrases in the text that help us to understand the character and ask ourselves, what do these words and phrases tell me about the kind of person the character is? And third, we jot down our ideas and the words and phrases that support them. The question we will be answering today is, based on the words and phrases in the text, how would you describe the king in Rumpelstiltskin? In this lesson, we will focus on the second and third paragraphs in the story. First, we reread Rumpelstiltskin and try to picture what the king might be like. I'm not really thinking about what he looks like, although it can be good to do that. Instead, I'm trying to get an idea of what his character traits are. What is the king like inside? I'll read the second and third paragraphs and try to picture him as I read. Now this king was very fond of money. Okay, so he's a man who likes money. And when he heard the miller's boast, his greediness was raised. All right, I picture a greedy man who likes money. And he thought to himself, this is an art which would please me very well. And so he said to the miller, if your daughter is so very clever, bring her to the castle in the morning and I will put her to the proof. When I read this, I picture a very demanding person. The next morning, the miller brought his daughter, who was indeed beautiful, to the castle. The king led her to a chamber where there was a great heap of straw and gave her a spinning wheel and said, All this must be spun into gold before morning as you love your life. This sentence makes me picture a very cruel person. He will kill the daughter if she does not spin the straw into gold. It was in vain that the poor maiden said that it was only a silly boast of her father, for that she could do no such thing as spin straw into gold. The chamber door was locked, and she was left alone. Again, I picture a cruel king. He won't listen to anything the daughter has to say. Next, we highlight the specific words from the text that help us to understand the king. Doing this will help me justify my answer to the question I've been asked. I will highlight greediness first. That tells me that the king is never satisfied. He always wants more. Next, I'll highlight, bring her to the castle in the morning. This phrase helps me to understand that the king is a demanding person. And I will highlight, as you love your life, these words make me think that the king is very cruel. He will kill the daughter if she doesn't spin the straw into gold. All of these words and phrases tell me that the king is not a very nice person. 
finally, we jot down our ideas and the words and phrases from the story that support them. I start by telling my ideas about the king. I write, the king is very demanding and greedy. He is also cruel. He is willing to kill the miller's daughter to become richer. Then I add a sentence that includes words from the story that support my ideas. I write, some of the words and phrases in the text that help me describe the king are greediness as you love your life and bring her to the castle in the morning. Today we explored the character of the king in Rumpelstiltskin by following three steps. First, we reread the story picturing what the character might be like. Second, we highlighted words and phrases in the text that helped us to understand the character and we asked ourselves, what do these words and phrases tell me about the kind of person the character is? Third, we jotted down our ideas and the words and phrases that support them. In this lesson, you have learned how to describe a character by visualizing as you read and finding words and phrases in the text that help you understand the character.